Good morning, everyone. Mike, Herd360. And uh, this morning, I want to talk to you a little bit about using our battery box wiring kits, uh, what comes with it, what parts you'll need, or tools you'll need to uh, to complete your battery box so that you can run your cellular game camera off of uh, external power because Lord knows the battery prices have gone through the roof. All right, this here, that's a 12 volt, 12 amp hour battery. And uh, and what I've done is because I, I'm actually out of my uh, my battery box kits, uh, it's it's basically just all I do is combine one of my battery boxes and, and one of the wiring kits together. It's not like I, I buy it as a kit or anything. Um, I, I source these boxes. They're really nice. I enjoy putting my name on these because they're well made. And uh, as you can see, it's similar to like a, a Pelican style, not not the Pelican brand. I don't want to infringe on anyone, but that style uh, camera case or, or handgun case, uh, nice and thick, uh, really nice rubber gasket around there to seal it off. Um, this is a pick and pluck foam, so you can you can use it, throw it away, or you can take it and 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 pick it out and break it to uh, to fit your battery. Really, really nice box. That's a vent valve on the front, in case it got vapor locked. Uh, I, I recommend making sure that's tight all the way so moisture doesn't get in there. But um, anyway, these are really, really nice boxes. I'm out of these right now. Uh, they hold this battery perfectly. So we're gonna set that aside. Uh, let's see, where do we wanna start? Okay, so. This, this uh, cable kit. All right, when you buy it from me, it's just my chew-proof cables, and then I add in a waterproof cable gland, and then a couple extra connectors. I add these connectors in there for a reason, okay? And I've had people call me and ask me why. Why are those connectors in there? Uh, what do I do with the extra connectors? And then uh, they get around to building the box and they message me and say, hey, my wires won't fit through the cable gland. Well, you know why? That's why I included these because you're gonna have to cut these off to get them through that little tiny hole. They don't make a cable gland big enough for these to go through that will also seal on a small wire, all right? So, I've also added, now this is not in the kit, this is something that I do, uh, or I, I'll use, and this is a uh, heat shrink tubing. This is marine grade with the in adhesive inside, so when you when you heat it up, it, it seals really good. There's that adhesive flows in there and, and seals it off really nice. That's just an added thing, it's not necessary. Uh, something else I've done in the past, if you do have some extra shrink tubing around, I'll pull this off, this shrink tubing off here, and I will cut off a little bit of this this metal conduit and um, and then reseal it, and then that gives me extra wire in there. So just uh, a little bit about these cables. Guys, these are my chew-proof cables. Uh, I offer these in various sizes, and uh, many of y'all have been around a few years. You know I used to build these uh, by hand, the cable I didn't build by hand. Now, that was all made in the factory, but I would add a stainless braid on there that I was uh, I was having made and sourcing locally but uh, or here in the States, but it just got to be I couldn't keep up. Uh, and so the company that I had making my cables for me, uh, I begged and begged and begged for them to find me something. Uh, they didn't want to mess with the braid because of the molds that were required, so we ended up... They found this, brought it to me. I said, yes, that's great. That'll work just fine. And it has, and everybody loves them. They've been very popular. All right, so keep in mind, this is metal now. Um, metal and positive and negative battery terminals don't go well together. So don't, be, don't lay your wire across your battery terminals. Be careful about that. Don't lay that metal part across there. Uh, okay, and so this, this is a battery box. 
or not a battery box this is an ammo box picked up at academy years ago it's actually been sitting on the shelf doing absolute absolutely nothing you see how nasty and dirty it is but it will serve the purpose it does have a rubber gasket it'll help keep the ants and stuff out of there uh, to a point in the moisture nothing wrong with this box um i have no idea what the heck happened there that's not going to seal but uh that's probably why it was sitting on the shelf anyway it'll work okay so it'll work for this this video all right next thing you're going to need is a drill half inch drill bit half inches for the shank of that cable gland Wire crimpers, I like Klein's. Wire stripper, I picked them up at Lowe's years ago. I don't know what the brand name is, or maybe Home Depot. All right, so let's get started. How long is it gonna take us to build this thing? Well, let's see. That looks like a good spot to me. Might want to take a knife and clean that off a little bit, but for the sake of this video, I'm not going to fool with it. Because I'm going to throw this thing away anyway because it's got that groove in it right there. Alright, so you unscrew that. Now there's a rubber gasket. That's going to go on the outside. <clears throat> I might have actually grabbed the wrong drill bit. And didn't get the uh, half inch. Just grab the one that was in the drawer. So that's exactly what I did. All right, nice tight fit because I didn't get the half inch drill bit. And then you just come back and you put your nut on there. Like so. Tighten it down. You can use some pliers to get it tight. Don't over tighten it because you're going to strip it. It's plastic. Alright. Now, remember, I said that's not going to fit through there. So please don't be calling me anymore. Asking me why these don't fit through there. You're embarrassing yourself. Alright. Clip these off of here. And it's okay to throw those in the trash. It's all right. Why? So I've had people ask me, why do you sell the wire with that already on there? Well, it wasn't to confuse everyone. It's just because I used to have these cables made and sent to me with no connectors on them. And then I would include the connectors in the package. And I kept getting so many customers that were calling me, wanting to know if I could install the connectors for them before... I shipped it out. Well, that's, you know, guys, over 2,000 orders in the month of August alone. I, I just don't have time to be doing that. So, I had them made with the connectors on them. And in the DIY kit, I include a couple extras. And then you can cut them off yourself and reinstall them. And I'm sure that makes some folks happy and makes others unhappy. You can't please everyone, right? All right. So some of these cables, let me back this out. Some of these cables are going to have where where the factory, when they were crimping this, you can see where it's a little bit fat right there. And uh, we can crimp that down and kind of make it. Maybe it'll fit through there now. And then I'm going to show you with the heat shrink what I would do if you want to go that route. So this, the gasket inside this cable gland is going to seal better on that heat shrink. That's why I was saying that you could you could trim some of this off. That might be enough wire for your battery if you put your you know if you turn your battery around. This again a power sonic 12 volt 12 amp hour, and you turn your battery around. And you slide it down here, and then you boop, boop, put it on there like that. That'll work. Or you can turn 
take this off or to put, slide this on here slide it you can slide it down further past and cover up a lot of that metal cable so it would be in there farther or like I said you could cut some of that metal cable off and then put another piece you know kind of crimp it down too so it doesn't move and then um, put a piece of shrink tubing on there like that so there are a couple different things you can do just get creative guys uh, and then once you have it in the box I like to take and wrap mine twist it so it's not all frayed and if I'm really feeling uh, like a purist I'd solder it in there to the connector all right so and I can build one of these if I lay all my tools out I can build one of these in about five minutes if I got to go hunt for the tools 10 minutes but it, it, it's just really simple guys it's not that hard all right <clears throat> I like to think that sportsmen are resourceful do-it-yourself type guys find solution to problems at least that's the way I've always been and then uh, now th there really is there's probably a special little ratcheting tool that works better for these but I've yet to find them so what you can do to get started in my old eyes I really need my binoculars a little or head binocular whatever that thing is monocular or reading glasses you can kind of get it started like that guys and you come in there turn it over like that and you come in there and you crimp it down that was a bad bad crimp it slipped off I can't see crap I let it slip off before I crimped it all right even I make mistakes I cannot see nothing <laughs> my old eyes all right so and let's just say you do fail that's a good reason to point this out let's just say you do fail this is a quarter inch female spade terminal guys you can get them at any automotive store probably home depot and lowe's turn it over first And I like to recrimp it on the other side. All right, see that? That's pretty tight. Slide them little bad boys down there like that. And there you go. Now, like I said, if you if you have the resources. And you're a purist like me back in my car audio days uh, every connection speaker wire everything was always soldered so you could solder that in there but anyway guys a simple battery box you throw the battery in here like this and slide it down like so and stick your terminal on there and there you go. All right. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. I hope it helped somebody. And again, uh, if you screw up these connectors, they're they're cheap quarter inch female spade connectors. You may not find them with this clear covering like this. I ordered those special, but uh, that's all it is right there. Just get that. They you can get them in the blue and the and the red cover quarter inch female spade terminal will fit right on there now a lot of people will ask uh and this also brings up another another subject uh 
some of your battery terminals, this is a, what they call an F2. There is an F1. The F1 is just skinnier than this one. Don't, don't get alarmed and don't get all in a tizzy just because, oh my gosh, I've got F2 connectors and my battery has F1. F, F1s won't fit an F2, okay? They're, if you get F1 battery connections on your wire, they're not going to fit on an F2 battery, so that's important. You need to know what you have. These are F2, quarter inch. F2 will fit F1 and F2 because it's F1 skinnier. So I, I selected the F2s. That way it covers both F1 and both F and F2 type battery terminals. All right. So I hope that uh, that helps you. Mike, Herd360, y'all subscribe to the YouTube channel for me. And uh, you can buy these this kit on my website, Herd360.com. Look under uh, trail camera external battery cables or build your own battery box se section on there. And uh, if you have any questions, y'all can reach out to me. Have a great day.